I'm going to be honest, man. Who backdoored Little Dirk? That's what I want to know. It's a lot of situations going on. And I, when I, you probably like, who backdoored Little Dirk? I know his brother D thing died, but who around Little Dirk that didn't care for him and still gave him that painful loss that he has to take? Because what I'm seeing here, man, it's kind of sad, man. What I'm seeing here is some of the saddest thing you're going to see for a while. To see this, man, it hurts your soul, man. But you got to ask yourself. Who around the guys let the information drop where D-Thing was at? Even if it was not on purpose, who by accident revealed D-Thing's information? No matter what you do, bro, guys don't move through the street the way you see this thing being shown, bro. It's an easy case of people setting up each other. People being snakes and sneaky right now. I don't know who to trust, who to look at in a, 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 a ambiance type of way, bro. You, you got to know that there's no way whoever got D-Thing just unexpectedly and coincidentally just met D-Thing there. And, and, oh, surprise, surprise. Nah, man. Niggas get the drop by niggas texting each other, niggas calling each other, niggas on Instagram, niggas talking to baby mama number one and baby, mom, uh, baby mama number two. Best believe somebody opened them back doors and left it unlocked. And it's sad, man. Dirk and them is going through a lot right now, and you're going to see that this is only going to begin more bloodshed. That's the real thing about it. More bloodshed is going to continue to go on. Nobody is going to uh, uh, stop the, the mass situation from stopping, and it's sad because their father just got released from prison. You know what I mean? Their father just came home. He was doing his thing. And unfortunately, you got the likes of King Von just passed, and then Nooski, your manager, and multiple other people as well. It's just too much names, y'all. Way too much names to say how much or say all the guys right now. I just want y'all to tell me who's going to change this. Who's going to change this situation where you want us to believe it's gang, 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 but we know niggas be getting jealous for the most littlest things out here, bro. Niggas just be weak and jealous all the goddamn time. You probably bought some Balenciaga shoes for over a thousand for this guy over here. Now this guy creeping out the corner, he jealous because it's like, why didn't you get me none? And it sometimes can be even more deeper. Man, maybe somebody's baby mama like your music a little too much. Or maybe you ain't giving a nigga enough attention. You ain't letting their projects take off. You're not giving them enough money. You bought chains for some of the guys, but you didn't buy it for these couple of other ones. It's a lot of things that these dudes will backdoor for. And sometimes niggas are just ungrateful. Dude come with that bag. Niggas already, you know what I'm saying? Doing the duck, 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 goose chase. Meaning that niggas come off that bag, tag, you're it. Niggas set you up already just for how much dollars and mouse they could get. But I don't know which way. Dirk done dissed everybody you could diss that means something down there. Dirk done been in few. And I'm not saying that Dirk don't need to do the same thing or haven't done the same th I mean they haven't done the same thing to Dirk I'm not saying that Dirk is the only guilty one here as if the other sides ain't guilty but it's so much sides though so who is the ones that got rid of the situations who took this out that's what I want to know man watching a, a sad story like this you gotta ask what happened a father shouldn't have to you know what I'm saying? Die at a young age like that. Never. He shouldn't have to. He should be out here to live forever to see his kids grow and they can see him. I, I, I mean, when you get in a, and moving around all these people, I want to know, what does it do? When you're going around everybody and that much people around you, does it bring a comfort? I think it will bring anxiety around me. Having 400 dudes around me, I know I'm exaggerating, but having all these faces and not knowing who knows who, who guys are who, it will be very uncomfortable, gang. Com uncomfortable to a T, man. And, and that type of sadness lets you know how even more. These guys don't even know who to trust. You don't know. You got to look everywhere around you, bro. It's like, who is this suspicious character? Who's that? And everywhere you look, it's like, boof, that back door gets open unexpectedly just like that. Emotions get involved, man. Sometimes that door can get open from a guy that you knew from kindergarten, bro. Educational purpose. 
Sometimes it could be from family. Sometimes it's just some op who's more close to one of your guys, a guy that you thought was one of your guys as well. But anything can cause this. And the thing is, man, the thing is, man, King Von's uncle was speaking the truth, man. King Von uncle was breaking it down how a lot of these young dudes out here don't pay attention to the trenches. They don't pay attention to the streets for real. And when they keep dissing the dead like that, it only magnifies the situation you're going through with your ops. And it just brings more heat your way. It doesn't bring peace. So all you have is repetitive beef after repetitive beef after repetitive beef. And I'm taking it like, even if you believe it's not a back door, look at it this way. When you dissing different ops, right? Everybody got somebody that knows somebody. And you're close to the person that knows somebody. So everybody is connected. Everybody knows everybody move. You got to clean house when you're a known face, bro. You have to clean your house. You can't be around everybody else like that. The house has to get clean, bro. And if it doesn't get clean, you have this un unfortunate event with D-Thing losing his life, man. The sad part is there's a mama somewhere going, I know this mama's pain. D thing's mother's pain right now. There's a father going right now. Man, I know exactly how um, little Dirk father is feeling right now. Little Dirk father got all those years in prison. He changed his life. He found Allah. He found all the, the rejoicing ways of prayers again. That type of life. You know what I mean? And to have it unfortunately get back to this is heartbreaking. Needless to say, man, it's heartbreaking. And you feel for the families involved. You just want to know that, man, is this going to be a rejoicing situation of peace? Like what it is, man, people can't understand that we'll never know how it feels if we haven't been in their shoes as far as losing a child. So I don't think nobody wants to hear what you feel or this and that. It's just sad all around. I wish... I wish the family better, more peace, man. D-Thang, I want to know, brother, maybe you've seen it coming. Who opened that back door? Who around you was not to be trusted? That's what we really, really need to know. Who around D-Thang that we need to look with the side eye like, who the hell is this? What's going on with this situation over here? I feel like things will be revealed in the near future. But for right now, momentarily, a brother lost a brother, a mother lost a son kids lost a father it's just a circle of life of pain that doesn't stop it goes over and over again and it's a sad situation man this one right here hurts the heart for real and it's going to continue hurting the heart it's not going to stop needless to say maybe sometimes it's karma who knows who knows maybe sometimes it's just one of those things man it's just one of those things look I'm your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live.